Hi guys, this is Dima L.I.B. Over yeah, here at the Cross Park Rally and um, in Daly City, California. And uh, we're going to be riding some houses today, some houses today around the ocean. So please stay tuned and watch the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, share the video, leave comment, and we will have many videos. So please stay tuned. We will show you everything law. On that beach, it's gonna be cold. safe flight down to the beach. We go single file, no running, trotting, galloping. We take a picture in different groups once they get down on the beach. All right? Cell phones, you gotta tuck them away when we're on the hills. On the flat stretches, take all the pictures you can. 
But when we're on the hills, please put your phones away. When they fall out or drop out, they fall they don't. And then it's hard for me to get to your phone before they step on or step on it. So let's keep it tucked. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple little yeah. I'm gonna give you a couple little pointers as to as we get you on the horse, and then when I get on mine, I'm gonna show you what to do. So it's kind of a learning little lesson before we head out. Alright. Um, is anyone a little nervous with heights or the hill or anything like that? Y'all pretty good? girls aren't going to answer. That's okay. I got them anyway. We're all good. All right. Let's see. Now. A horse you riding on? My little girl. That's name your horse? <laughs> my horse is my little girl. Oh, that's summer. That's my summer. horse. And it can kind of, it can hurt you. Oh, okay. So just make sure if you are taking photos, just one hand on your rein, take a couple pictures, and then adjust your hands to both hands again. Um, with her, just a little tip, she does like to try to go a little faster at times. She likes to try to go right in front, so um, she'll usually just go right behind um, David. And if she does try to speed up, David and Hank will look behind, look at her, and she'll be like, okay, I'll stop going forward. <laughs> um, so, but right now, just try to stay still as you try to go. Pressure, relax your hands. Um, just because if one horse starts moving, the rest kind of just start to follow. Thank you. going down you're actually kicking your horse and that tells your horse to go faster or to go forward. You guys have a knot in the reins and it's way at the end like this or something like this. So you don't want to hold it up here because it doesn't work. They don't know what you want because they can't feel anything. Take your hands and you separate them out. I don't care how long this hangs down it just doesn't matter. The point is you want to be able to when you pull back when you pull back, you feel their face right away. If you go with pulling back like this and nothing's happening, it's because they don't know what you want. But if I do this and I got my hands down here and I pull back, well, he knows that I'm doing something. He's being a dork right now, but there we go, and he moves. If you want to go to the left, you're going to put one hand out to the left. Come on, Hank. Good. Whoa, stops your horse. Always put your hands back. If you go, whoa, 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 they just back up. Yeah. But better than that, Hank, when we want to go forward, I'm going to start by clicking your mouth. So slide your hand down the rein. Go. Slide your hand down. Good. And pull to the side. Pull. Good. There. There. Now squeeze your legs a little. And give them some slack. Now give them some slack. There you go. Right there. Now pull back and say, whoa. Now, if you're pulling back to your hips like she just demonstrated, ain't nothing gonna happen. Nothing. No, it's got nothing to do with it. Those reins you can take all the way down to his face, or her face, and there's nothing short about my hands down here. I can definitely mess with my horse from here, but I'm off balance. So. Alright, so, are we good? Yeah, okay, so. When you want your horse to go forward, you're going to start by clicking your mouth. <clears throat> and we go forward. Whoa. To stop, you say, whoa. Pull your hands back. Put your hands forward. If he's not moving and I still want to go forward, I'll squeeze my legs together. And he's going to go forward. Whoa. Stops my horse. If I'm going to turn to the left, I'm pulling one hand over the left. They will go to the left. Whoa. But if I want to go to the right and I go like this, there ain't nothing going to happen. You do this, nothing's gonna happen. If I go like this, he's going to the right. It's gonna work that well for y'all if we get along like that. You're gonna keep one to two feet between each other. If you're more than six feet, a 
apart, I need you to click your mouth and squeeze your legs. We want to keep it tight. If they get to be 20 feet apart, they start running and fast. And if one runs, they all run. And then I'm up front stopping y'all, which is all good, but we don't want to run. We tune our horses real well. We give them good exercise, but we don't freak out. All right? Subble. Yeah, subble. Just like, just like, just like Bubba with, with an S. Subble. Yeah. I like it. Wow. Thank you because the fog's gone away and we can really check out the scenery. Fort Funston is down the cliffs in the distance. Fort Funston was a military base. They started establishing it back in the uh, 1900. By 1935, they were mounting battleship cannons on the cliffs here. And along comes 1940s, they started putting nuclear missiles up there. <laughs> Around about 65, they closed down the base, took out the nuclear missiles, and that's when the big glider started jumping off that cliff. So on any good given day, we'll see how the class wind hits these buffs and it shoots them up a few thousand feet off the beach with the updraft. 80s and 90s arrived, and that's when the paragliders started jumping off these here cliffs. Kind of neat, in certain days we'll see a few dozen paragliders. You got two of them in the sky behind you. And you'll see some hang gliders up above the Fort Fun. Pretty good on uh, Trixie there. Your foot's in, you're okay. All right, y'all, we're heading down to the beach. Last hill down, toes up and heels down. Now look, a couple of you might want to take off home with one of my horses and disappear out of line, running down the beach without me. Don't do it. Then I just look up your name and your dress. I got to track my horse down, bring him back. It's a lot of work. So if y'all stay in line, we'll stay safe. We'll have a nice little ride down to the beach or we're going to go put <laughs> today, Dima, today, guys, Dima is taking you guys on the beach, horseback ride. This is how Dima life is every time she changes up. So please try to stay too and see the end of the horseback ride. Love ya. Good morning, L.I.B. Yeah. <laughs> Good
So we can't let go of those reins, honey boo. You gotta hold on to those. Especially on a horse like this, you can't be letting go of those reins. Okay. How'd she treat you? Oh man, she was beautiful, man. Yes. She did an excellent job. Excellent. Yeah, I really enjoyed my ride. Very good. I love it. Yeah, you guys chose a good day. It really cleared up. It's so pretty out here. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Here we come. Come on, Mr. Summers. How would you want to bet that cowboy hat looking for the ranch and walking right to the all right, babe, there you go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Make sure you hold the handrail because sometimes the legs don't work well afterwards. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, watch out behind you. Come Are you on doing now. a documentary? I need you guys to go yep. on YouTube. <laughs> this is for YouTube. Fabulous. Oh, tender walk down. I know it? it is. My oh, leg. Okay. Oh. 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 you got him? I'm glad you yes. picked it. <laughs> you tired? Are you tired? <laughs> Good job. Come on down. <laughs> that I know. Tomorrow morning. Oh you gonna fill it? <laughs> you come and film it. Oh yeah. It's like you going to the first time. Oh, you can't even tell. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh, you can't even tell. Yeah, that's so cute. How you feel, man? All right, Chief. <laughs> so, guys, this is the end of the ride. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. Mm.